Ramazan is different. We are entering different thing, times and make intention to get rid of all those egoistic problems. The ego, the ego, things that you do with the ego is not worshipping to Allah, it's worshipping to your ego. Things that you run to do it, to run away from your ego, even if it's brutal, even if it's crooked, even if it's no good, Allah Jalla wa ala appoint angels for you, and those angels, they will do the corrections. Even if you don't know anything, those angels, they will do corrections to you. But if you know the hundred person, just like so many Wahhabis, reciting the Quran properly, doing everything, any little mistakes that you do, he will be writing for you. So, sincerely, with the passion, we must do. Our Prophet has to be above everything else. We're not talking about Allah, Sallallahu Allah has, Allah is not a human. We're not putting Allah into that. The love of Allah is everything, but the learning how to love Allah through our Prophet, through our Sheikhs, through Shah Mawlana. We don't know Prophet. Shah Mawlana is teaching us the Prophet. You can take thousands of books and read. Is passion entering to your heart? Is moving you? Yeah, you know, you scholarly, you know so many things. Prophet went to this war, Prophet made it to this way, Prophet this, this, but the passion entered to your heart. When they say, Prophet, your heart is moving, at least a little bit, some excitement happening in your life, you know the truth. Fool everyone, but don't fool your own self. You know the truth. So that's what you need. That's what you need. That's what you need to generate. Worrying of this dunya is an end. It's not going to end. It's going to become worse. So if you want to make it better for yourself, <laughs> run, change your lifestyle, turn around and start living simple life. Simple. Get rid of your huge houses that you're paying huge mortgages. Get rid of your credit cards. Get rid of your huge burdens. Live simple life. That time you'll be all right. Otherwise, you can make businesses. You're gonna pay. Every month is waiting. So definitely, you're not gonna have the chance to run for Allah's sake to do things for Allah's sake. You're gonna run to do things for your ego's sake because you want to keep that huge luxury house that you cannot afford. Yes, that's what is happening. That's exactly what happened to Muslims. You can say whatever you want. You can say otherwise than what I just said to you. But the reality, that's what it is. If you think that it is not now, when you're sitting one day in your house and you're worrying, this bill came and I cannot pay, remember me. <laughs> you're going to know, oh, so much difficulties now. What I'm going to do this? Then you're going to understand I'm really living for dunya. I am worrying for this dunya. If I live a simple life, I'm not going to have this problem. Yes. Our reason of creation is to know Allah and to worship Allah. And simple life is making us to have more luxury time to be able to run to worship Allah. Worshipping Allah is not five daily prayers. That is prayers that is obligation that is ordered to you. Worshipping Allah is not only your Ramazan, one month fasting Ramazan. That is another obligation that Allah Jalla wa Ala has put it on us. Giving zakat, it is not only worship. This is another part of worshipness, but it's not. It is obligations, five principles of Islam. It is obligation to us. You do these things, the orders, Allah saying subhanahu wa ta'ala, that time I love my servant. And when you run to do things for my sake, voluntarily, that time, I make my servant to come closer to me. First, you keep the orders, and Allah saying, I love my servant, because 
Because he's keeping the orders. Subhanallah. Elhamdülillah. How much we should be thankful to our Lord that he is giving order to us saying, you are a servant and you just going to do this. And he's turning around saying, if you are keeping my order, you will be beloved to me. I love you. If I love you, I'll make things easy for you. And if you do things more in my way, and you try to reach to my servants, then I'll make you to come closer to me. When you come close to me, I will be your eyes that you see me. I will be your hand that you touch me. I will be your feet that you walk with. I will make you to see the halal things. Haram things will be bent to you. I will make you to do things for halal. Haram things will be bent to you. Then your life becomes different. And that is the time you start discovering the Holy Prophet wassalam, and through that love your life will start changing. Salam alaikum, rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Welcome to you. Ramazan geldi, hoş geldin, la ilahe illallah.